You're watching the firearmschannel.com. This product review video is brought to you by Vertra Systems, the higher standard in firearms training simulators. Hi, I'm Max Martin for the firearmschannel.com here at the Scottsdale Gun Club, the ultimate shooting experience. And with me today is Joe Bridgman. Joe Bridgman is a range master here at the Scottsdale Gun Club. How are you doing today? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. You know, I really have a respect and admiration for range masters because they're very helpful. They're very knowledgeable. You're always answering my questions, and I really appreciate that. But one of the things that I really like is that you guys tend to be very fair and very impartial, which is why I really appreciate you helping us out on this product review of this shotgun, which is made by Ivor Johnson. This is a 12-gauge shotgun. Tell me a little bit about some of the features that you'll find on this shotgun. Well, the first thing you notice when you pick it up is this shotgun's real light. So as you're using this for home defense, you don't have to worry about maybe the wife or the girlfriend not being able to support it as she's trying to shoulder it and fire it. The next thing I really, really like about the shotgun is their bolt release is a very positive engagement. It's got a big lever down here. You know when you're hitting it versus some of the Mossbergs or the FNs that have a very little nub that you're kind of slipping around trying to see if you're going to hit it. So as far as the user controls on this shotgun, it's very user friendly. Okay. Now, um, when you were shooting it earlier, tell me about some of the pros and cons, some of the things that you noticed about this particular shotgun. The biggest pro when I first shouldered it is they use a little bit of a shorter stock in through here, so that way you don't have to worry about maybe it's a bigger guy trying to pass off to a shorter girl. It's a pretty universal shoulder stock, and it allows you to get a much more consistent uh, eye relief for your sight system. When I started shooting it, it's like, yep, this is a shotgun, these are slugs, this is the way it's supposed to feel. And something in the vibrations is causing what I found, the feed ramp kicks up. It's kicking the shell at an extreme angle. So the shell actually hits on the top end of the breech and not necessarily into the chamber itself. So it's just a very minor adjustment, reach in there, kind of finger it into position, and then it went in just as smooth as everything else could have gone. So a couple times, it happened maybe three or four times out of 15 rounds. For a home defense gun, that's a little too many for my preference until the bugs get worked out. Joe, let me ask you, what are some of the things that you're looking for in a shotgun? Durability. These things are not meant to be babied. They're fun to roughhouse, take them out in the desert, beat them up, and if you drop it, that's eh, kind of the gun to drop. You don't want to do that, obviously, but a shotgun, you're not going to hurt anything since it's all manually operated. So obviously the ease of uh, the bolt coming back and forth, how easy the uh, shells load up into the magazine tube, just looking for the finer points of something that's supposed to be really rough and rudimentary. Speaking of finer points, um, talk about uh, trigger geometry. How does the trigger angle feel in relationship to the grip on the stock? Standard shotgun stock, you get your hand high up in there and you have to kind of rotate your wrist forward. I and mean, It's very normal for a handgun or a rifle to rotate that wrist forward. So it just slides right in there beautifully, finger goes on the trigger and then it's uh, game on from there. How important is balance to a shotgun? I don't find balance to be terribly important for a shotgun because unlike your traditional handguns or rifles where your magazine is your weight and it's in a central location, you're now putting your weight in a linear disposition and it changes with every shot. So as long as it feels solid in your hand, it's not really going to go anywhere. All right. Thank you very much, Joe Bridgman, Range Master here at the Scottsdale Gun Club. If you'd like some more information on this Ivor Johnson shotgun, check out IvorJohnsonArms.com. For the FirearmsChannel.com, I'm Max Martin. Thanks for watching. This product review video is brought to you by Vertra Systems, the higher standard in firearms training simulators. You're watching the FirearmsChannel.com.